know your boy Mr. J Hill in the building. Uh, this is a conversation series. Uh, this is conversation number 11. Damn, I just started this like last week. We, we at 11 already. Uh, special guest in the building, Scrawny Ape. Ape. What's popping, dog? With you, man. Shit, chilling, bro. Already, how you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good, bro. Shit. So, uh, Scrawny Ape, let's, let's start from the beginning, man. Tell me a little bit about yourself, uh, where you from, and just from the beginning stages before we can get here. All right, shit. I'm from a little small ass little city in uh, Virginia, Suffolk. Suffolk, Virginia, bro. I came from. Nah, hold on. Let me start over. <laughs> okay, okay. What about it? I mean, nah, I was already about to say that. Dude. That's what made me stop. Dude. What, what I was about, about it, though? To say that. Um, about from, from, from Suffolk? What about saying? What's, what about Suffolk? Yeah. Oh, man, shit. It just basically nothing out there. Mm. I ain't really too many. I don't really know nobody out there that even act like or even talk like something I want to be. So, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't until I left. Went to like somewhere like Atlanta or Miami and up here, you know what I'm saying, or Baltimore and uh, DC before I figured out like what you wanted to do. Nah, before I figured out that I didn't want to do what the fuck everybody <laughs> else was doing <laughs> where I'm from, right there because they be bullshit. Wow, so it's like slow or it's like you know, it's, it's country, so it's less money than the city, mm. but at the same time. When you go to the city, you got a uh, different variety of people. You go in the country, you got like, everybody want to do the same shit. Right. Or everybody limited to the same shit. Cause it's like, even down to the clothes, bro. We don't got no clothes out there. All my shopping happened in Atlanta, Florida, all so the you, other places you I moved to. moved to Atlanta from Suffolk, some, yeah. from, uh, from Virginia. Mm -hmm. But um, my, my question <clears throat> is how, how was it, cause it, Virginia is a commonwealth, commonwealth state, right? Mm -hmm. Basically, they make their own <coughs> laws and their own rules and shit. Something like that. How, how does it? How was it living in there? Cause like living in uh, a commonwealth state, cause I feel like mm -hmm. a lot of people get in a lot of trouble because they could just say what the fuck they want type shit. But mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I don't have no experience. So how is that? I mean, you gotta be more careful. Like <laughs> you dead ass gotta be more careful. But you always gotta remember, people are just people, bro. Like. A police officer is still a regular ass dude or woman just like we is. So same way they could finesse you and getting you get, giving you a ticket, you could finesse them into thinking you ain't doing a goddamn thing. But yeah, they be on your ass. But it's definitely like, it's definitely like different from like uh From being in like say I'm gonna just compare it to Atlanta because like that's the main place I live other than Virginia. Atlanta, they leave you alone, like completely for the most part where I could be out there and be you be a regular black dude out there and you ain't gonna like it ain't gonna matter you see white people and they don't you don't think like let me move away or you see a white cop you don't look at him like he white mm. in Georgia but in Virginia oh no sir they're gonna pull you over for no reason at all type shit shit I feel like in some in, in some places in Georgia it's the same thing because still it's you gotta go to the country <laughs> yeah you gotta go to the country see I, I when I moved to Georgia I stayed in East Atlanta so I stayed at Stone Mountain uh, shit I done lived in Jonesboro on the south side by Riverdale and I don't live on the north side in Marietta so okay on the side I ain't lived on of Atlanta is the west side I ain't never lived in no Savannah I ain't never even been to Savannah or nowhere else in Georgia but Goddamn, like on the south side, like going down past Peachtree City, going past um, Union City and shit. Like you go in, you start to go into the country, and yeah, it's a lot of racist people out there. Cause you know Georgia, like one of the worst states. Matter of fact, Stone Mountain. That's, right. That's like the one of the most racist cities in Georgia. It just is not like that no more. So off camera, you were saying, um, you were saying you just you just dropped your your single, uh, soft was it was it uh soft if I said it right? Loft. 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 Mm -hmm like a week or two ago but you were saying you were actually writing and kind of doing things in the music industry for like eight years yeah so what made you just started actually wanting to rap to record honestly everybody else you know what I'm saying a lot of other people telling me you got them I need to just do it because it really was just me trying it and me wanting to do it because it's just like I like to listen to music so much mm. And then I found myself rapping to myself. Like I always did it alone, like at home in the mirror or something like that. I still can't, I still can't, you know what I'm saying, get it how I want it to be. But it's just like, once I started making music, 
after everybody tell me because like, I made one song it was only one song that everybody just was like man you got that shit bro it's just like it's your first one you know what I'm saying so I'm like yeah just they like bro you need to keep going so it's just like you know I, I kept hearing that over and over and over and over again so it's just like so you made a song before you dropped Loft and everybody was fucking with it and then you was like I made right. a song years ago okay before I dropped Loft or Helen because you know I dropped one previous song before Loft and that's Helen okay but before I dropped either one of those because though that was this year that song that I'm talking about was probably like 2000 and damn yo 15 16 yeah yeah so you dropped that I think you dropped 15. that like five years ago yeah damn so what what made you what influenced you to write anyway because again you was making you was writing way before this was it poetry like what, what, what was it was you writing? me and all my homeboys used to dance and shit <clears throat> me and my homeboys used to dance and shit i don't know i mean that jerking shit but you know how the jerking shit went it was just like everybody was doing it for a little minute and then we all stopped and it just like for all the niggas that i used to do that little shit with we all got damn branched out into the same shit almost like most the majority of us mm -hmm. and we all went to the music field uh of course i didn't go first you know say all my homeboys they rapping and shit now so it's just like i'm going to the studio with them i'm just sitting in the back of the studio i don't i didn't ever really care to to go do no music i never tried to write i'm just like man they was trying to force me to get on the mic just to get up you know what i'm saying just to be part of it yeah. they just want me to be part of it i tried it I ain't fuck with it, so you know. So I threw that shit away. I ended up going to the studio trying that shit again. That's how I made that thug song and shit. After that, I'm just like, bro, try that shit for real. Kept hearing that. Shit. So, Over the past couple of years, I just kept writing though. Mm -hmm. Like you know, this music shit take a lot of money, so I ain't never had the funds. You know what I'm saying? Like that till now. So. Okay. So you was writing. Your time come. You relatively new to the music game. Mm -hmm. uh you just dropped uh loft and but i'm hearing big things about you already right like you uh you, you signed to like your best friend mm -hmm. um it's a fa fa follow the label right yeah it's family family and love love loyalty. and loyalty right what made you say all right i'm gonna sign to you and just not do it by yourself was it because of the, the relationship like what made you want to just say i'm gonna sign to you well me and him already had like you know saying close to a 10 year relationship. So we already got like a, a bond going. And also, you know what I'm saying? Me and him never really, we just never had no issues. You know what I'm saying? We disagree, we do mm -hmm. disagree, but we never had an issue, even though we disagree so much. And it's just like, you know what I'm saying? We look out for each other regardless. You know what I'm saying? I don't even stay at this man's house. You know what I'm saying? He, he gonna look out for me, so I'm gonna look out for him. So it's just like, it's a trust thing. I trust him, so more so than, I can treat him just like, I'm gonna treat him just like I would be treating a label like Interscope or some shit like that. Like, I'm gonna treat them with the utmost respect because, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, they got this big name. But for for my my best friend type shit, you know what I'm saying, that's my nigga, you know what I'm saying, he got respect with me. It's like so. your brother, right? Yeah, so and, that's a long way. But the thing I'm asking, cause you have your own thing, uh, Young Kings Chasing Paper. Yeah. Did this come before the fall or this came after? After. after. Okay. Actually, the Young Kings Chasing Paper, eh, I didn't create it. My, I got my brother, my older brother created. And he was just kinda, you know what I'm saying, coming back after, he had made a whole nother uh, label. That's his second label. He made one already, but it was just like something like, something with that fell apart. <clears throat> I don't even want to get into that, but he made another um, label. And then he just, you know what? He see that I'm rapping and shit like that. He was just like, you know what? I feel like you should have it. So mm -hmm. he, he just completely, you know what I'm saying? He's sitting back, he waiting, you know what I'm saying? He gonna let little bro do his thing or whatever. So he like, you know what I'm saying? You might as well take over the YKCP or whatever. So I am, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm I'm the founder of YKCP, you know what I'm saying? I got me a producer, got me, you know what I'm saying, a couple other assets within the YKCP already. I hear a lot of other things, right? That's that's big, that's popping. Like you uh you did interviews with uh you had interviews on Say Cheese, like on, on a dropped it on a platform. 
Well, I didn't necessarily have an interview. Well, music dropped on, he dropped your music on a platform. Yeah. I know a lot of artists not even doing that now. You know what I'm saying? Nah. One, they can't afford it. I Two, don't even know nobody from, well, actually I'm the only person from like my whole little area that's mm -hmm. been up there. Right. But then I'm saying like, that's major. Cause like a lot, a lot of artists not one, putting the time into doing the research to find out how to get on Say Cheese, yeah. put, investing to get in Say Cheese. Like what made you make that move or, or how did you even hear about it? Who made you, who, or who pointed you in that direction? Honestly, I gotta get a props to my man. You know what I'm saying? My manager, you know what I'm saying? He, I mean, of course, he bringing all this stuff to me first. And sometimes I, I you know what I'm saying? I, I be the first one to get to some things, but yeah, I'm gonna get that one to him. He, he, um, he found that out and everything, you know, because I still got people asking me, how did I get up <laughs> there? And you know what I'm saying? So what do it take to get up there? <laughs> and I'm just like, I know, but it's just like, Y'all not gonna do it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? A lot of people that's asking me is just like, you, I mean, I'm pretty sure you'd had the opportunity. If, if you had the opportunity, you still wouldn't do it. Cause I don't see nobody spend or actually take that time out to take that money and put it into, into something. something that's gonna produce longevity. They want it right then and right there. Right, no so. facts. How important is it to have that, that manager that, that first know what to do and is gonna mm -hmm. go out, out of his way to help you for real? Well, for one, it's, it's very helpful, bro. You, you can't you can't do everything at once. And then I got my own life situations. You know what I'm saying? I got my career. I got my my kids and shit. So it's just like you know, I got my own hustles outside of the music. And you know what I'm saying? You got to kind of like fit that in because I want the music to play a, a big role in my life as well. So it's just like you can't do it by yourself. So. Being that I already have like a best friend that I don't sit and watch them, you know what I'm saying, manage uh, other people, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. It definitely go hard for you because that's family. I ain't gonna say he go hard for me. I ain't gonna say he go hard for me. Man, my man do his job. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Just like anywhere, anywhere he work at, he gonna do his job. I feel like you know a lot of times people don't even know, but the. A lot of the things that managers are doing are really outside of that job. Like if you look at the, the actual definition of what a manager is supposed to do, yeah. like a lot of the things that they do or they provide isn't really the job of a manager. And mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of artists get spoiled by that because they don't understand. So like I say, if not even you, right? I say somebody else, they, they fall out with that manager who is putting them on with so many other things, right? They look for another manager that's gonna do the same thing. They're like, well, that's not even my nah. job as a man. So we definitely gotta appreciate those those managers that are doing the extra. Those those relationships. Mm -hmm. is, is really the relationship. I mean, unless, you know, so you just got a random person that just got so much. Connects. Not even connect, just like so much faith in you. Like mm -hmm. he don't, he really feel like he's not gonna lose anything out fucking with you. So he gonna, he gonna mess with you regardless. Facts. But other than that, if you ain't got no relationship, or you had a bridge and you burned it, it's, it's already, you know what I'm saying? That's a done deal. So what um what are some, some things you're looking forward to in the future as far as just with, with your music and where your career is going? Honestly, you know, it, it, you know what I'm saying? I like every other rapper, you know what I'm saying? I gotta say, I'm trying to take care of my family and shit. Cause you know what I'm saying? Where I'm from, bro, we ain't got nothing. There's mm -hmm. nothing out there. Yeah. I got on an off white jacket. Where I find that at. That means a lot like it's coming from where you come from, though. Yeah. I saw in a video you had all oh, off-white. I'm like, this guy. It's, it's, <laughs> I mean. Are you doing a campaign for these niggas or what? <laughs> like, I can't even. Like, say, it, it may be black-owned or whatever, but that ain't even necessarily why it's my favorite. I got to give them their credit. They 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 make some nice nice clothes, mm -hmm. man. And it's like, it's, it's definitely my style. Then they got the little, the long um, industrial belts. belts. Yeah, yeah. So, Call myself the ape, so it's just like goddamn, you know. So I'm a scrawny ape. Monkey got long ass <laughs> tail. Look. I might, I might look like a little spider monkey to somebody. You know what I'm saying? I got the tail and everything to go with it. No, oh, so that was, that was, I get it, I get it. Cause I ain't get it. I mean, at first, now that you explained to me, I mm -hmm. can understand why you got it hanging all the way down. Cause at first mm -hmm. it was like, I thought it was some designer yeah. shit. You trying to flex? Like, well, fuck it. that that was the beginning reason why I did it, but it just like it kind of like fit. Right. It's just like, say, man, it's just like, I called myself Scrawny Eight, where my daddy passed away. He got a little monkey piggy bank. It's, mm. You know what I'm saying? Now I got a little monkey piggy bank. The whole time he had this shit for years, right. like, since I was a little kid. I remember it now, but when it's I like, seen it, it's just like, I wasn't thinking about anything. It's crazy how everything aligned, right? Like, it was, it was purpose. That's your purpose. Like, that's, we here for a reason type crashed, of shit. Yeah. I crashed my Camaro. It's just like, 
I had a great one, you know what I'm saying? I had the, um, the 2019 SS, uh, stage two SS uh, Camaro, Space Gray, crashed it, went in the hell. Jump malfunction, you know what I'm saying? I filed a claim with, the, with them and everything, GM. They denied it, cause they, you know, they lied. They said I was going 95 miles per hour, bro. I drive them cars, bro. that's what I do. <laughs> How the fuck thing. would they know that? Like They they say they read the box or whatever, okay. whatever, but I was like, if you know that, then you know that the, the, what you then you know what was messed up on that car, cause right. you don't crash going forty five miles per hour, and you gonna tell me I'm going fifty miles per hour, you know what I'm right. saying? But either which way, I crash that joint, and just like I go to the dealership to try to go get another one, same thing, try to keep your SS, cause I'm like, man, I'm not finna downgrade niggas like go get a man just go get you a little Volkswagen go get you a little Honda something beat around <laughs> get around like no no nigga you see who the hell I buy I dress like it ain't like I'm trying to be better than nobody just like that's, that's what I like you to are, do yeah. you know what I'm saying and then the car shit why don't that bitch go fast that's what I like that's, that's kind of <laughs> I want to be able to tap it I ain't even got to necessarily be going 280 miles per hour but if I can get from zero to to 100 and no matter like two seconds, man, I'm, I'm all right, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, I feel good in my car. Yeah, you but see. basically, I went to go to the dealership to try to go buy me a new Camaro. Only one they had for the kind that I wanted, it was all yellow. Mm. And you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I don't really want no yellow goddamn Camaro. Try to look for another one and just like couldn't find one close enough, like just close enough to me where I was um, in my area and just like, I got cash, so I'm finna go in there, but just, just give me the car. So got them, said fuck it, got the yellow joint. So everything now, is everybody, like aligning, yeah, I get now it. everybody calling it a banana. And uh -huh. it's just like, everything following me, like it's just like, it's going, it's revolving around the name I made. And it's just like. And that's same. purpose right there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that's just divine purpose right there. Mm -hmm. So like when, when, do you have any dates of when you dropping a tape or when you gonna drop your next song or next video or anything like that? I don't necessarily got a date on the tape. At all, you but got a name. Primate. Primate. <laughs> yeah, okay. basically, cause it's just like, shit, compared to where everybody else, where I'm from, I'm in my prime compared to everybody else, cause mm. you know, ain't too many people. I mean, even if they do got it, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to use it the way I'm using it. So right. it's just like I got it and I'm using it. And I'm getting it back. I'm using it. And I'm getting it back and I'm using it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just like I ain't doing it with they help. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing that shit by myself. Me and my manager. What what else is it that you might want the people to know that they don't know, or if you had a chance to tell somebody directly uh, that about, we might not have touched on about the music, about anything, music. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's let's say music. Let's keep it in music. Well, you gotta spend time like take care of your craft. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? A lot of people. Man, I see a lot of niggas go into the studio and just going there. And, Bop, 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 bop. You say whatever, you know what I'm saying? They just say whatever. And you can, you know what I'm saying? All I feel is you just saying whatever. Right. You get it, you don't, okay, that's your heart. You you get the song. Soon you get the song, you post it, you know, released it, and you got down, you know, shot the video the next day. Spent like $150. Or the nigga only wanted $75 and a, a 3.5 or something like that just to shoot the video. And you know he finna do some rinky dink shit because he mm. only wanted $75 right, in the eighth. You know what I'm saying? Any nigga who only, any nigga who don't want money for their job, they, yeah, they definitely ain't finna do no, no bang up job. You know what I'm saying? So I'm watching people do all these little rinky dink videos. Half assing, basically. You gotta put, yeah, you gotta put, you know what I'm saying? And also with the recording. You go in there and record the bullshit. I, I'll go to the studio and I'll record a hook on the beat and leave it. And leave it, just leave it alone. I don't want to even think about it. You know what I'm saying? Next time I come back to that beat, be like, oh shit, okay, all right, this, yeah. mm. Then it's just like, I'm already in that mode. It's just like, cause every time I come and get a little, every time I come in to the studio, my producer play a beat. I got a hook for a beat right then and there. Like, as long as it's hot enough, you know, so I got my little vibe for that joint of feel. As soon as I walk in, it's just like, instantly I have a hook. You know right. what I'm saying? I'll leave the rest alone because, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I like to write more so than freestyle. You know what I'm saying? It's just the freestyle just be coming, you know what I'm saying? Niggas just be in that mode and you just do it. But as far as paying attention to what you're doing, man, they, you niggas need to write. Niggas need to write because I see a lot of niggas rapping about the same shit. Yeah, you might go get you 20,000 views, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 100,000, maybe even. But 
nobody gonna goddamn take a liking to you trying to be like it's like nigga trying to be like young boy or they trying to rap like young boy talk about what young boy talk about you know this young boy ain't getting pen, no attention from like bt all the extra shit. you know what i'm saying but he the hottest thing walking you know in my eyes anybody on top no, he the top. hottest thing on youtube right now yeah, for sure yeah. he's the most yeah i'm saying like it's just like well i'm gonna just say out of all these people who make music and stuff like that like as far as like rapping like being a rapper like lyrics and putting that shit together coming from the bottom and all that shit like young boy actually one of the top niggas that actually know how to just go in there and deliver something right. like that like because he's making so much back to back back to back and it's just like you put him on repeat and it's just like you know so if you had to tell uh anybody something that would be basically like take your time you know what i'm saying like time, take your time it. and be patient with it Don't everything just rush it but that's what you know what i'm saying that's like you said not just music everything everything you gotta be patient already hey man my guy scrawny ape uh mr j hill conversation series man episode 11. uh make sure you check them out matter of fact tell everybody where they can follow you at on all your social medias and everything oh uh, shoot all my social media scrawny ape that's s-k-r-a-w-n-y-a-p-e everything it's, uh instagram twitter shit. you might even find me on facebook it's, it's my middle name you know what i'm saying on facebook yeah, everything is scrawny. <laughs> yeah. Already scrawny ape, Mr. J Hill, man. Episode eleven of Conversation Series. We out. It's a wrap. Already.